I have an issue with my basement workshop. I have a lot of stuff down there. Junk. I have a lot of junk down here. And it's a small space. So in an effort to organize things, I want to make a shelf. The shelf is not, however, just going to be bolted to the wall. It's going to need a saddle over a heating oil tank. Now, I cannot just measure it out easily. In fact, it'd be pretty hard. It's pill shaped and it's huge. So I can solve for this by using cardboard and a marker. So in this video, I'm going to be making a shelf for me, for my oil tank, but also, but wait, there's more to show you also how you can fit those odd shapes that you run across in your projects. I'm going to put that there, get in here and drag my marker along the edge of this. And I want it to come down to, that's the front. I'm going to come down to here. I'm going to have a flat part up here. Yeah. So I think I might do something like two by four. That's terrible. Two by four. Maybe some sort of racing structure underneath. This is an odd shape. So what I'm using is this to actually get the measurements and everything that I need so I can actually build something to actually go up on here. Now, one more thing I want to check. There's enough clearance in the back there. You can see that. There's enough clearance for a two by four to sit and straddle this. All right, so let's go build something. Here's our odd shape. So there we go. Take that, I like that. That's a good angle there. Probably need just a shape like this. Piece, it's about yay big. There we go. Actually, first I'm gonna run this thing down the center and get probably all the pieces I need just out of this. Now we have our top pieces. So we got two of those. And then we need something, I think it's just a brace down here, right? But we will go onto here. Cut there. Let's cut those two pieces then. You are gonna go there. You are gonna go there. I need two more of these. Now, Gonna have two over here. I'm just gonna peer down this way. Back, front. Now, take this over to the bandsaw. And before I forget, be right back. All right. Mark where this is going to be. There's the edge. Probably need a screw for that, maybe. There we go. There's one. And then do the same thing with this guy. Oh, front. Now I need to cut a piece of plywood. And I also need another piece. It's gonna be the front. I want this one over here, two inches from the back. This one needs to go along the edge here because I need something to screw in that other piece too. So 
left is back. Here. This one is back. Take there. There we go. Let's see if I did it right. That's the important thing, right? Let's look for that. This is a banana. Let's look, let's look for that. Let's take this odd corner in the ceiling. Now, let's say I need a piece of wood here to fit this corner. I know the roof is about 45 degrees to the back wall of the house, but there are studs, drywall, etc., between the outside and the inside corner here. That was a tough angle to get to. I used my angle finder. You see I had to take it, flip it upside down to actually even make it fit there to actually get that angle. But I did get it. The easier way to do this is with two pieces of cardboard and some tape. I still was able to get that same angle, as you can see here. But what I wasn't able to get with this was that little nibbin in the corner right there. The angle finder could not get that and doesn't fit it perfectly. Whereas the cardboard does fit it perfectly. So now I can take this and cut out whatever pieces I need and fit this so it goes up there. So remember to label. Now, let's cut it out and see if it fits. It fits. Now let's try a much more complex odd shape, shall we? Take the section of floor in our kitchen. There's molding, a corner, and a rounded corner at that, and a heat register. Let's say I needed to fit that weird shape. Using the same method we just used on the ceiling, we can use that here. Just want to use a lot more piece of cardboard and a lot more tape. Now that we've got our funky shape here, let's see if we can match it. Close enough. And you know what they say, close only counts in horseshoes, hand grenades, and woodworking. There we go. Fits like a glove and does exactly what I needed to. I notice put all this crap back. We built that shelf and it fit. Not surprising at all though. Although usually when I make something, I'm surprised as anyone if it works. But not this project. Using templates is like cheap measuring. I love tools that measure things, but I hate measuring. Mostly because I'm not good at mathings. And now for something completely different. This is a banana. Uh. Now, let's say I needed to trace this banana. I could just trace it right on a piece of wood and cut it out. What if, however, this was a million dollar piece of art and it was taped to a wall? We can't go exactly taking that banana off there, can we? Kind of difficult. I don't even know how to get this one. No, let's just cut on the bezel. Nip the tip. Now with our template, voila, framed a banana. Fish. <laughs> 